Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed Revelations playthrough. I do believe that we have a lot done-ish. Alright, I thought I was done with Master Assassin missions, but here we are again. And apparently, let me guess. No, that's Mercenary HQ. I guess the Romani ones just have a lot more white in them, so my brain was just like, wait, does that mean that there's more stuff to do there? But, uh, well, I was going to do some... bibbidi ba, Whatever it is, the Mediterranean defense, but... Since we have a Master Assassin mission to do that I did not know was available to do, let us go do! I also basically just set up, did a bunch of, uh... M m m Mediterranean defense missions off screen because it's just like nothing really happened. I did discover that once you liberate us, um, yeah, I don't think I've actually like actively commented on it, but once you liberate a city and then you do other like specialty diddly dees, special missions that you have to pay for, there it gets very expensive. You unlock, like, more money per, like, banking diddly D, as well as, like, ingredients, which is a very nice kind of quality of life feature that they actually put that in. Because, like, <laughs> but if it, it would be a little bit nicer if the... Like, Mediterranean defense was also ever so slightly less, like, hard to defend. It kind of feels like they're pushing you to lose cities. Although I'm not sure how you lose cities. Probably having your city loyalty below a certain threshold for too long. And you're, like, capped at 50%, I think. Maybe one of my cities got to 70 somehow. I don't know. But, uh, we'll do this Master Assassin mission. And then, we will set out and do some more Mediterranean defense missions. Just have that going in the background. Since hopefully we'll have a bunch of good assassins to go do that kind of stuff. And then we'll probably just do the main story. Because I don't think there's much else to do aside from buying, uh, real estate that just serves to get me more money. As well as the Templars, uh, notice. Which I still don't understand why that is. Like, I guess their idea was, hey, let's make it so that the Templars can retake your diddly dees, but your dens, but then if you're like me, you're like, aha, screw that, I'm going to power level my goddamn assassins. Well, assassin, assassin, what'll we be assassinin' today? See. Mirella was spotted here moments ago, purchasing various reagents and oils. Ah, yeah, the... What did the man say? The evil Romani. Cardamom? Datura? Datura is a deadly poison made from a flowering plant. Hmm. I may be able to track her. The trickster was recently spotted at a nearby merchant shop purchasing various, rea various reagents and oils. Track her down. Kill the trickster with poison. Well, I know what I'm going to do. Hopefully it, uh, functions. Because one thing that I haven't, uh, haven't, uh, like, commented on is it seems like randomly... Yeah, like, randomly the secondary weapon that I choose, for whatever reason, just decides to not work. Like, it'll reset and, like, de-equip de from my active slot for some reason. I don't like it. It's a very nice system when it works, but... She has been here within the past few minutes. I will take cover while you flush her out. And then I will shoot her. Because it is... Yep, I have it equipped. Time to hunt down the trickster. I am 
losing the scent. This way. I don't... Huh, I just realized something. I gotta pause, because this is something that uh, just came to mind. What if I was meant to use the Eagle Vision in the Brotherhood mission where they're like, Aha, you uh, take the place of this guard guy so that he doesn't order the death of your friend. And then you need to, like, use the audio cues of the other guards to take the money to the location. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could have just used the Eagle Vision for that. Probably not, because Brotherhood is dog shit, but... This mission and the way that Ezio is, like, uh, verbalizing it makes me feel like it might be a similar thing. This is where I punched the fuck out of Duccio. There. Damnazione. Of course you have to be faster than me. Don't you see that I'm chasing a woman? Get poisoned. Oh yeah, and I also bought fast-acting poison. Yeah, and those missions, like, expand the port. I have no idea what adding an assassin den does. So far, it hasn't really done anything. Flail around, little woman. And die, you heinous poisoner. So dies another wretched drone. How can you speak? You died of poison. That's what you are thinking, assassin. Maybe your heart is filled with pity for me. Then leave me be, for I despise such charity. I took what was owed me. In spite of oppression. I don't want to be given anything. I just want to take. That's what she just said. I live my own way. For myself. The mentor. I'm... Well, let's see. Let's see what that... Mission... That, uh... Diddly dee. I wonder where it'll be. Notifications. Yes, yes, yes. The Mentor. I want to see. Have seven trainees reach Master Assassin. Crap, I hit the wrong button. Flag. I am a fool. But already... Now we will head and... I assume that seven is like the maximum that we can do. I also noticed that we don't do, like, little ceremonies for the Master Assassins in this game. In Brotherhood, they got a whole, like, uh, thing to themselves. Granted, they were all, like, uh, jam-packed into the same cinematic. But it did add a bit of grandiosity to it. Yep, uh, just a lot of things to do. Let me just uh, make sure that everything is still under my control. Assassin's control, assassin control. Basically, if they're not like at 20, I don't think I'll care for now. Assassinate an advocate. Again, I don't know what, it does say like, ooh, plus one assassin slots in the city, but what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, I guess all... And it does seem like... Huh, that's actually interesting, that you can have one above the necessary bar, but I don't think these guys actually, like, level up beyond. So yeah, you guys go and assert dominance on this place. The lower level ones can go... Just do things in the city. Probably gold. And then... 
Let's just go ahead and take this city, why don't we? Go take the city. Because I don't really care. And then I'll keep having, like, yeah, two bar. So that should be it for Master Assassin missions. If I have one complaint for the Master Assassin's missions, it would be that they're kind of wonky in that you need to make sure that you have the right Assassin Master, like, not selected so that you can then go do their missions. As opposed to, like, I don't know, having it marked like, hey, this Assassin Master has a mission that you can do in the world. But if you send them out on a mission, you won't be able to do their mission. You know, that that makes sense. Like, it makes sense that they will become unavailable, but at the same time, couldn't we have just a little bit of, ooh, that's weird, by having an Assassin Master who is, like, on a mission be available for their Master Assassin mission? I guess they didn't want them to, like, level up to a Master Assassin, like, mid-mission, which I, I guess could be understandable, but I don't know. My brain is just like, man, it would be nice if we could, like, uh, just do it. Because, <laughs> again, I did not even know that, like, or, or who knows, maybe she wasn't at the necessary level... Until she just got back. Granted, she didn't even do anything for that mission. Wow, he didn't care that I was on there. That's the second time that the town guard was just like, Yeah, I, I don't care that you're up here. Sure, I'll go ahead and buy this. Also, I think that these places got jacked up in price. Granted, I'm getting one of these every 20 minutes, but... Still, it uh, makes it ever so slightly difficult to buy everything. Then again, I think they also anticipate you to go and liberate all of the towns across the Mediterranean, all of the cities, so you get extra income from there as well, but blah, 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 blah. At this rate, uh, we'll go look at him, see if he has any missions, because, again... It's square, and excuse me, that one just came out of nowhere. Usually there's like a build-up. But, yeah, there's just there's so many of these that what I might do is just collect money, maybe even, I don't know, procrastinate with the game open and just get a bunch of money and just buy a bunch. Because, again, there's just so fucking many. And all of them are, like, there might be a few, like, ooh, 2000s, like, while we're on our way to that, well, I forgot we were going to go check out you. Uh, is there any, there's a building here, and then we can just go right there. In fact, there's a building right in front of there, so we can check too. Just to get an idea of, like, how expensive all of these are. Because I think that there are, like, however many, like, 30,000, 50,000, well, not maybe, no, I think there might be a 50,000. And another thing that I guess I should, like, expand upon while we just run about is I think that the Templar Awareness Meter is a little bit of a downgrade to the, like, actual, ooh, crime meter. Because, sure, you still bump that up when you do crime, but... At the same time, it's also very, I don't know, odd that it happens when you buy, buy things. It's like the game is punishing you. How dare you? Yeah, for a moment I was just like, what, do I have enough money for this? And obviously I don't. So it seems like a bunch of them are in the various 30,000s range. Just... And off we go. And we'll see if that guy has missions, because again, it's square, and my brain, for some reason, is telling me, hey, maybe... Because again, we just met this guy. We met him, and he had a whole thing of like, aha, yes, uh, 
bombs, military, blah blah blah. And then we don't, like, meet him again. I do think that there are some Mediterranean missions that allow us to, like, unlock new things that he can sell us. 40,000 to buy the bazaar. Understandable. Kind of hilarious that we can buy a bazaar. We can also send people out on missions from here. Forgot about that. Guess bomb missions, bomb making... Uh, warning, accepting this memory will dismantle and replace your current bombs. Oh, tutorial mission, tutorial mission, tutorial mission, and tutorial mission for the various shells. That's it. So yeah, that seems to be it. While I was right, there were missions here, I just don't want to do tutorials. Especially when they'll just be like, hey, yeah, you, you can do this. Just with, like, some fail states, I guess. Yeah, with that out of the way, we don't seem to have any other large side quests to worry about. Which, honestly, I am kind of happy about. Because, like I said at the end of Brotherhood, there were way too many side quests. Like, oh, hey, assassinate this Abstergo Templar man. Oh, hey, do this. Oh, hey, do that. Just more and more and more and more. To the point that I didn't even do all of the side quests. Especially on top of the fact that some of the side quests were dumb. Like, ah, La Volpe thinks Machiavelli is a traitor. And wouldn't you know it, the person who turned out to be the traitor was not only under Machiavelli's, like, jurisdiction, was also somebody that there was, like, no way that you could properly foresee him being the person because m probably you didn't even know that he was going to be a person. Mildly unique NPC at beginning of game. Oh, no. You meet him twice and then he dies and that's it for La Volpe's whole character arc for the game. It was very dumb. Personally, no likey. Hello, assassins. What we do? A pleasant surprise, Ezio. We should trade stories if I'm not dead by this time tomorrow. Is there a chance of that? We learned that the Byzantines are planning to infiltrate Top Kapu Palace now that Prince Suleiman has returned from his Hajj. If Suleiman in his onion hat? It will be tonight at a cultural exposition mm -hmm. the Prince has organized. So what is our plan? Gardeshim. This is not your fight. No need to snare yourself in the Ottoman affairs. We Maybe are a brotherhood. The key, but <laughs> a palace and I would like to know how. Also bad. Ezio, we want to protect our Shehezade. Not interrogate him. We can do both. Trust me, Yusuf. Just tell me where to go. Top Kapu's main gate. We plan to dress as entertainers and walk right in. And walk right in. Find the disguise and meet you there. Templars are planning to attack the Ottoman royal family. Join Yusuf, protect the Ottomans, and gain their trust. Beat Yusuf to Tokapi Palace. And once again, I don't have to worry about the bonus objectives beyond, hey, this is kind of a... just a, a small mini-challenge thing to put myself through. It's not like actually... Oh, that's rude, game. Also didn't really want to do that. The game screwed me there because of pathing on everything and also Ezio going slow, but oh well. Like I said, I don't need to worry about the bonus objective that badly. The bonus objective isn't really important because it doesn't unlock anything for me. Dang it. Now that was some airtime. I love that the assassins the don't give a shit. They're just getting shot at. Probably should have taken a better way through. Yusuf is definitely going to get there better, faster than me because game's a little bit of a dick. 
You make one mistake, you're dead. Granted, I made multiple mistakes, but most of my mistakes came after I made my first mistake, and then I was like, ah, oh, I'm not gonna make it. Also, they have parachutes too. How oh, neat. Minstrels knocked out. Knock out some Italians and take their clothes. Knock out. Do not be detected. I think it also said. Let me check again. The main thing. Do not be detected. Uh, it says knock out and not kill. Cherry bomb, splinter bomb. I don't know how I'm supposed to knock them out. Minstrels from Italia. I am going to enjoy this. Well, let's see. Will this detect me? Find that. So this is just... And here I thought, why are you unique? I love that they actually acted like Assassin's Creed 2 minstrels. <laughs> this is actually quite amusing to me. Also, those guards don't seem to give a shit. Oh. And here I thought it said, don't get detected. Oh, there we go. I guess I could have thrown them over the wall. Could have thrown them over the wall. Maybe. It's kind of odd that... <laughs> the minstrels, like, act like Assassin's Creed 2 minstrels, but at the same time kind of don't. Very amusing. Especially because they actually, like, made... Oh, well, uh... Don't think this is possible now. How am I supposed to get that guy going, then? Probably should have left it to them. This is what happens when you make con- Oop, there. It was right there for a moment. Aha! Armchair General. I wonder what that is. Control all cities except roads. <laughs> Except roads. Simultaneously. Why roads? Why is roads different? Why is roads, uh, separate from that? I don't know. And we also don't want to, like, kill the Ottomans because we're trying to earn their favor. So, like, killing the Ottomans and then, like, trying to go around them would be a poor show. Find thy wounds, noble senor. Let their mouth be not in... And now the assassins will come out take the bodies, and uh, point me in the right direction. Hopefully. Oh. I guess we could just <laughs> drag them over here. I guess this works. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Ezio will look like as a minstrel. I look ridiculous. I feel... Ridiculous. True. My blade is too conspicuous in this outfit. 
Are you armed? Vessel a deal. You mark the targets, and we will take them out. Alrighty. <laughs> Time to loot. You, uh, know how to play that thing? <laughs> I learned a few chords when I was young. When were you ever young? <laughs> when indeed. I lost all my money. I sing in Italiano. You understand no word. <laughs> but my Greek is non-existent and my Turkish is absurd. That's hilarious. The is closed to the public. Turn around and start walking. Perdonate, buon signore. We are this evening. This is hilarious. I'm speaking Any Italian. Carry an instrument around. Get lost. A minstrel song I've heard. You this sound day like a dying cat. By the score. But luck deserts me when <laughs> what I What is play. this? This is the entertainment. Where, Watson? Venezia's grim doge, a fierce and evil man. <laughs> what are you doing? Was just a tribal red of face when I <laughs> Play your loot to grab attention. Get your attention. Go in and bother the guests with that noise. <laughs> So I need to find the Templars and then kill the Templar. Inside. That is <laughs> just hilarious to see Ezio in this. Apparently a Templar died there. I didn't even notice. Did he get poisoned? I was so engrossed with Ezio singing. Move to the waypoint to prevent your assassin from- Oh yeah, he's just gonna stand there. I see my assassin friend. He's singing about Cesare. <laughs> the songs are hilarious. And apparently, people love Ezio singing. This courtyard is clear. But I do not see Prince Suleiman. Follow me. <laughs> if I don't see Ezio slam that loot over somebody's head, I'm going to be disappointed. Now this is a celebration. Suleiman, the Sultan's grandson and governor of Kefe. <laughs> Kefe. He's only 17. We met on the ship. He told me he was a student. And who is that? I, I he His did come back. Shehzade Ahmed, the Sultan's favorite son. He is grooming himself for the Sultanate as we speak. I like that the Turn student away. guy came back. Fall on his arm. Come. We have more Byzantines to find. That's a nice ca a callback. I doubt it would be any of the women, but actually I think it will have to be a woman. Before Rodrigo well was the Pope, he was a man of vices. Such an exotic song. <laughs> Such an exotic song. He raised his vices' prices. Oh, I wasn't even scanning you. Young Cesare, I heard him say, could not be killed by man. So I tossed him through the air to see where he might land. I hope you are enjoying yourself. The camera did the flicker and... Oh, 
I like that Ezio kind of has to... I do like that Ezio has to actually go on and, like, uh, ensure that, like, scan a target. Like, his eagle vision is, like, good, but it just needs that ever so slight bit to, like, suss someone out. Good God. How do I even tell people who's the... the murderer? No one understands my plight. The life of a musician. <laughs> the life of a musician. You play beautifully. Thank you. One of the AI made him drop the body. Oh no! That wasn't one of the AI! Why are you attacking the guard? Um. Haha, <laughs> it wasn't with the loot, but it still worked. It is a relief to see you again. <laughs> Mio bel menestrello. Did I say that right? Well enough. I hear you are a governor, too. Is there anything you do not do? <laughs> I do not talk to strangers. I am Suleiman. Ezio Auditore. Pleasure to meet you. Shazadem. Are you injured? Oh, no. Captain Soldier. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to d differentiate the Byzantine versus the normal guard. Clear this body and send the guests home. Then summon Tariq to the divan. I like those guards' outfits. The captain in the Janissary Corps. The Sultan's elite soldiery. They guard the Sultan, but not his family. Not very well, evidently. Ezio, do you have some time to spare? I would like your opinion on something. I will, once I change out of these rags. Guzel, meet me when you are ready. Yeah, I like that. I like that segment. Especially in the second part where you have to find your own, like, area to stand. It was kind of a timed mission. <laughs> they just kept adding more and more, like splitting them up. It was actually really nice. I like moments like that. And now apparently we have access to the diddly D. And I think we're still technically in the mission. I also realized that... Hmm. Just debating if I like the design of the bonus objective there, because on the one hand... Yeah, I think it's a good design for it in the end. And once again, are we still in a mission? Oh, no. Just for some reason, the bombs don't, like, show up. I guess they only show the bombs that are, like, directly near you. Perhaps, which I guess makes sense. But yeah, that mission was really nice. The race to it, like, uh, see, those guys there... Like, uh, those guys, are they Byzantine? Are they Ottoman? Because I thought that they were Byzantine, but then it's like, oh, but they patrol, like, with the Ottoman guard. But then my boy, Yusuf, was fighting them in there, so I don't know. I do not know anymore. I guess we'll send some people in just to do random things. Install an assassin den, I guess. Bring in a bit more money. Do the... City-specific mission there. Tripoli. Do you have a... Again, I don't know what the installer, like, assassin den does anymore. I don't know what it does. But it's already, like, good. Let's see, are there any... Well, first, let's see. 35, but at the same time, it has a city mission, which I don't know what it does, because I don't read. Sure. <laughs> Assassinate a minstrel. We were already a minstrel, but... 
Really, if I see a town mission, I shouldn't worry about the diddly D. And let's see. Is there a... Nope, there is not, but there is a... The Bomb Man. There is a Jerusalem mission, so... Send in some people. Just do the city missions, because why not? Just do city missions, city missions, city missions. And that's it. Any of these. Once they get into the... Mm, now you know what. Oh, yeah, well, that one's being done. That one's getting a mission. 25. Go do this mission. Let's see which one's lower. 39, 30. Alexandria it is. This one's faster. Just send them all out, why don't we? Sure. Let's send them all out. And I guess we'll pick up the money there. See if the Hagia Sophia, or maybe the Hagia Irene? No idea how you pronounce that. It's possible that I'm pronouncing Hagia incorrectly with my evil, evil English tongue. Oh, hey! This roof reminds me of the Assassin Bureaus from Assassin's Creed 1. I am a friend of Suleiman. Do not shoot me. I like to travel by roof. Why are there just like piles of ash? That is disturbing. Because at least I think that money was deposited. But Brain could be lying to me, because... It's like, I'm gonna say about this, I'm gonna talk about this, I'm gonna take da 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 Things, things, and things, and things, and things. But there was money. And then while we're on the way to the mission... Ah, well, we can just do that. It's simpler. I still will have to sneak in, apparently. You become friend of the Sultan, then. Still. Well, I guess you can't really go up, I'm friend of the Sultan, and they're like, Ah, oh, yes, we've, that's the third time we've heard that today. So you can't really blame the guards, but then again, if it's illegal for me to be here, how can I buy this place? You can't be here, but you can buy property. Such is life. Also funny that spending 30,000 gets you like 1,000 extra money per 20 minutes. And with that out of the way, we shall head to the mission. I do find it funny, like, it's multiple, hey, you shouldn't be here squares layered on top of each other for some reason. There are guards here? Impressive. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. I assume yeah, it's going to be entered through here. Away from all the gods. Guards. Super casual way of saying. I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlate. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next sultan. Your uncle? Exactly. 
The Janissaries prefer my father, sell him. Yeah. You are in a tough spot. But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? I am foe of the Byzantines. I'm them myself. <laughs> I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go to the secret Go room. There. Wait. And watch. So, so he's not the Sultan, but he is, like, related to... Suleiman is investigating the attempt on his life. Eavesdrop on his conversation with the Janissary Captain, Tarek Barletti. Do not be detected. Alright, well, I'll just go back around. Why is there, like, a tension cord in the background, almost? Like it was building. I wonder how many people were just like, fuck it, and ran across the courtyard. But into the tower we go. Yeah, we even were here before. I think I commented Eat on it. My nephew, Tarek. Your incompetence borders on treason. And to think that today, your Janissaries were outshone by an Italian loop player. <laughs> Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, if any. I will conduct a full investigation. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. <laughs> Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. Allah emanet all. Tarek Bey. A word. Is he gonna kill the uncle? What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tarek, you have made a grave Random mistake. save in the corner. My father my head has chosen covers. me as <laughs> the next sultan, not my brother. Ahmed. I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not I like this camera work. May I speak freely? You'd better. <laughs> You're weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. You make a decent philosopher, Ahmed, but you will be a poor sultan. You may show yourself out. As we've just met this man, I have no opinion on whether the guard guy is correct or not. Is he gonna call me down? Nope. That would've been kind of funny. Quite a family. Hmm. I know you're up Your there. Come down and speak with me. Man will soon command. Tariq is a hard man. Proud and capable, but ambitious. And he admires my father greatly. But he failed to secure this palace against the Byzantine invasion. That alone is worth our attention. Precisely. Where should we begin? Come to think of it, didn't For they get a key from below this Genesis. palace? So that's they extra of their free time wonky. And, the bazaar. and worrying. I will start there when I can. Oh, that's memory over. Do not be detected. That was a very easy bonus objective. I was almost going to expect it to be like, get there in like two, a minute and a half or something. Get there in 30 seconds. The Prince! I have made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man, with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries, who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziaf keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. Hopefully she won't die. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, <laughs> nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. That's very nice of you, Ezio. 
She she just wants books. Just a bit of knowledge. She doesn't want to like be in a war. Sequence five. So we're about halfway through the game. Because I do believe that there are nine memory sequences, I think. I looked it up before. Around about. Let's see, anything cropping up in the world? Just a mission, and then... Yeah, that's just... Oh, the Assassin's HQ. There is a... Sophia memory. Well, I think first things first, we will... Once again, wish that all the bombs would just be, like, uh, open to me, but fine. We'll go to the locked den. New items unlocked in bookshops. New items in there, too. New items in tailor shops. I forgot that, like, completing memory sequences unlocks stuff. I will not end up dead. I am an assassin. Alright. Wonder if it's just like... Nope, there are new books. That apparently are super expensive. Jesus Christ, okay. Note to self, no more buying real estate and save that for like the end. And it said locked den. Locked den. Well, fine, I will go to him and command my forces from there. Interesting that the dens are explicitly locked. Oh wait, uh, not all my people are back yet. I thought more people would have been but me. So if that out of the way, then let's go do a Sophia memory, since it is a side memory and probably required for 100%-ish completion. Of course, I'm not gonna go for 100%, but I'll go for, hey, do all the things that interest me. So we will go. I could check out the... Ta well, I don't have much money. Well, like, do the mission. The Sophia mission. And then we will check out Taylor's, if I remember. But so far, Taylor's and everything haven't been all that important. And I got the Master Assassin armor. Early. Unintentionally. I have returned. Salute. I am closing in on two more books. One near Topkapa and the other in the Bayzid district. Bayzid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. Because it's a palace. What do you make of this? Oh, Ezio. Incredibile. Early Coptic bindings. Still in good shape. It was buried. Amazing. Like on a roof. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. Yeah. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. Would you like me to go get it back for you? You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by and now. And I'm good at finding people who could if be the anywhere. The thief came for money, but took a painting. He should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. All right, that's a nice detail. The, the map twisted when she moved the book. I like that. Someone has broken into Sophia's shop and stolen a painting of considerable value. While she works, recover the painting. Steal the painting without the merchant spotting you. So it's going to be like the poison mission in Brotherhood. Which, that was also a dickishly designed thing. 
We're gonna put a time trial here, and then also, like, uh, make it hard to get to. I found it. Someone gave it to me. I'll kick you into the wall eternally. He has much better things. <laughs> he has much better things than to answer your prayers. You got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a merchant in the bazaar. How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canaria. I beat him up by kicking him. His voice completely changed. I have a painting for sale. If you are curious, a luminous portrait. You see how life and shows her beauty shines through. And the bonus is steal it from him without being detected. I'll wait for a group to pass by. Or... I do not pay people. How dare you? I can't kick him. Oh, that's where the painting was. Oh, well. Well, I mean, technically he didn't spot me while I was stealing it. So that has to count for something. <laughs> it would be hilarious if that technically works. I don't expect it to. And all honestly, I would say that it probably shouldn't. But it would be hilarious if it in fact did. One moment, uh, Sophia. I have to climb a building so I can go command my secret army of assassins uh, to go about and do things across the Mediterranean. Uh, nope, nothing there. All gears. Nothing important there. You're good, but no city based. That one's still in the works. That is still in the works. Genua is still in the works. Uh, here's a new mission in Jerusalem. I'll just send out a normal super assassin. Lisbon, anything? No, no city. Ah, a city one to do. These are getting difficult. Except for this one. This one should be easy. Anyone can do it. Tripoli. Um, nope. Tunis. And no. No new city ones in here. We'll send out people to do things. Again, don't know what installing assassin dens do. Go ahead, just everyone go out and do things. I wonder how many missions in, like, Brotherhood and Revelations have the 
use your assassin people to do things when that kind of thing exists where you can just send out all of your people. I got it back. It is a good likeness, don't you think? Pretty good, actually. I prefer the original. Hornet. <laughs> <laughs> this was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days doing nothing? Could, did you? Could you at least have books? Una tortura. <laughs> so I found you another book location, and it is not far from here, actually. Oh, goody! Grazie. A gift to Ezio, me. What is this all about? <laughs> you are not a scholar. That much is clear. Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sophia, when I can. I am a mysterious teacher, man. That is it. The Sophia missions are really nice to do. I don't know, there's just something about them. <laughs> and it did give it to me. That's hilarious. So all you have to do is provoke the merchant, beat him up, and then steal the painting. You don't even have to do it legitimately. That's hilarious. So yeah, I gotta say, the Revelations bonus objectives are far kinder, far more interesting and fun than Assassin's Creed Brotherhoods were. I'm gonna say it again, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was like an entire game designed by that... the designer of Memory Sequence 13. I want to bribe you. He won't let me bribe him. There we go, now he can bribe him. Yeah, I just, I don't know why Brotherhood was so wonky. It technically softlocked up. Well, actually, no. It softlocked. I forget. What is a softlock compared to a like a full lock? Or uh, like what the hard definition is? If like a softlock is like oh, by the gameplay itself, the game is unable to go further. I think it is. So yeah, I got one like actual softlock. And then one partial soft lock in Brotherhood 2. And again, it, it didn't even have a good checkpoint system allowing you to restart from checkpoints, which is terrible. Yep, just hit a book, use Eagle Vision, find book. I don't know what's with this game and me just going that one, and it's the one, and then I'm like, ah. Very amusing. It happens when I'm like looking at. <laughs> if I'm lucky when I'm looking for targets. It happens sometimes like this. It's just hilarious. Give me a book. The book for me! It looks like the same book. So will that unlock just a billion other locations? Like the last one did? The Flute Girl by Minenander has been found. And... Nope, it's just a uh, normal Sophia memory. Yeah. Off we go evermore. Forum of the Ox unlocked? Forum of the Ox unlocked. What does that even mean? Did I unlock a location? Like by finding a book, I have also found a way to purchase more real estate? Is that what it is? Or is it just... Oh! Ah, it's a disc location, a Masiaf key. 
kind of funny that this is technically a side quest. The main thing that we look for, the frickin' keys to Masayaf, are kind of a side quest. Welcome to the darkness. The darkness. Wherever you go, it is dark. What did you find? Another key? A door of some kind. Bricked up with hard A door. Ah, promising. The first key was found behind a similar door. Dimules. And how did they open that door? Bombs. They did it. Oh. The earthquake team. Iberokai. All we have are a few barrels of gun. Power. Interesting. This should do. And if it does not, we get more. He got in the way. I would have aimed for the one closer to the boat. A clue left behind by the Polos has brought Ezio to the form of the Ox. Unfortunately, Templars are searching here too. Do not take any damage. You will not leave here alive! I did not like the last do not take any damage mission with a vigorous passion. Howard, you're the one with the gun. I also enjoy the long jump. Okay, don't know why I did that. This is like an action movie. Why couldn't the Assassin's Creed movie be like this? I'm here everywhere. I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to take damage in this. What do you think uh, yelling that will accomplish? I also find it funny that I don't think that I... He's behind us. Wait, a mission failed? How? Again, it did the falter thing I don't like. I really like this action set piece. I'm running alongside you. Show yourself, as I am literally right beside you. They took away control of the camera again. Every single time they do that, I, I, I will profoundly state why it didn't even need to do that. Love the music that's playing here, though. We have gunpowder. We should use it. Stand back. Give me some room. How'd you even chuck that? But I'll definitely need to go... Alright, kind of odd. Reduce distance to target. I am literally going as fast as you will let me to go, game. He's behind us! Uh, yeah. No shit. How'd you even slow down that much? You are in a boat. Never underestimate this madman! Uh, he speaks the truth. Man, you guys just suck. Also, how many bullets do you have? You are using muskets. Oh. I was ahead of it for a bit. Over the waterfall we go, dear boys.
Yeah, now here's where the real damage part comes in, I guess. No. Be gone. You all die. Sucks to be you guys. Well, really sucks to be the guy who I assassinated, like, super early. So, like, did they leave these chests here? Well, I mean, they did find it, so I guess they did leave these chests. Why would they leave money here is a question. I understand, like, the, the bomb supplies. But why money? I guess emergency funds? It is packed with other bomb things, but still. Also, none of these people are, uh, archaeologists. They can't see a symbol and be like, I'm gonna press that symbol. How does that even work? What is keeping it in place from that little button? What alien engineering is being used? That's three Masiap keys for me! I've also just realized we have yet to actually, like, run into an actual... Byzantine slash Templar like master. We have we don't have a face to put alongside these these assholes. For the entirety of like Assassin's Creed 2, it was the mysterious Spaniard. For Revel for Brotherhood, it was Cesare. For the first Assassin's Creed, it was uh Robert, with Al Mualim being the puppet master hanging it all above you. Here, we killed the only Templar that was unique. All the rest have been foot soldiers. But apparently we failed um, a town mission somehow. Which is weird. You, you went out your way to recolor one of these blocks and you're not going to have it be an actual thing we can use? Really? Were you trained by Satan in game design? We're actually going to make a thing look like it's going to be a thing that you can use and then we're going to say how dare you want to use it. Auto lunatics. Then again, we probably only have, like, uh, at most two assassins, and one of them's probably injured. Yeah. Genoa failed. How did Genoa fail, though? I thought I sent, like, a whole people in there. Hmm. Maybe I thought it was a single one that's like, ah, I can send one person to do this. And then failed. That's possible. Hmm. Considering what happened, we will wait till more people get in from their missions. Alright, let's see. Any other missions? There's main mission, and then there's Masiaf Key. Well, let's go ahead and do the Masiaf Key, why not? We'll do the Masiaf Key, and then we'll go do... Oh, we already got a bunch of people in already. Where were you, like, one second ago? Alright, back to Genoa. Wait, no, that was Damascus. The Hydra's Head. Part whatever the fuck. You go in there, you make sure that this works. Athens, do you have any mission? Yeah, you do have a mission. For the people. You do go in, do the people. But not like that. 
Jerusalem, it's in the works. Lisbon doesn't have one. Madrid doesn't have... Well, maybe it has one. It doesn't have a perpetual scroll, which is me. Uh, yep, it does indeed, and it is going on. Marcial by any other name, but it can't be done. Well, while we're here, go expand the city. And now we will go do the Masyaf Key mission. There's a transporter. We'll just use the transporter. Don't know what... I have taken harder falls than that. The fall damage in this game it was like made through spaghetti code. That one's closer. We'll go there. That's like the second time that I've used that, I think. Fast travel. I am not fast to picking it up. But again, I have to say, it is hilarious that the Masyaf keys are treated like a side quest. More than likely, you need to actually do them to... Well, maybe not. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Blah, I don't know why I sneeze in twos. It's like my body be like, well, if we're gonna do it, let's do it right. Hopefully one day it doesn't crack my goddamn ribs. But maybe at some point when you're doing the main quest, you'll say, sorry, no more main quest. Go do the Masyaf keys. Like, or maybe you need this many Masyaf keys to continue. It is entirely possible that it might go and just say, to finish the memory sequence, do the Masyaf keys. So it's like, potentially, a secondary main mission, but it's still a main mission. Alright, let us add it to the collection. What Altair memory will we get today? And again, is this like unlocking genetic memory for Desmond to go through? Or is this actually Ezio experiencing Altair's memory? And also, apologies if I accidentally mix up Altair and Ezio. For some reason, my brain just does it. It's like, oh yes, Assassin's Creed protagonist. Yes, who are you? The Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my god. So Abbas has... When we left myself ten years ago, this order betrayed was strong. Us. But all our progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth, and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the Order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. So, yeah. Abbas. Years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. He's an asshole. Because a rift that is never fully healed. We saved him from the apple, and he's like, I'm gonna let your family die. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? <laughs> you were not there. I married a masterful storyteller. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded ah. our attention and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Hey, Abbas. I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. 
As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. Sounds like an asshole. Like we even Al Mualim. We may. Like put up some together. kind of illusion, literally at times. So Abbas. You asshole. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? You mean like the excuse you used to kill if my the son? Truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself. Yeah, because, dude, you already mind, failed to wield it 30 years them. ago. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair. Reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Let it kill you again. Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Kill okay. yourself. Altair! No! And Daltair is just living a life of pain. Strength. Altair. Well, time to kill everyone in Masaya. He is possessed! Kill him! Take the apple! No! Everyone gets to die. Why escape when I can kill everyone? And to show them not to mess with me. As a warning sign, do not fuck with me. Who wants to escape? All of you get to die. Ah, this old place. Why not kill Abbas now? Is the real question. Or maybe we will on our way out. Uh, what was that all about? You didn't hear the screams? Then again, the real question is, why did Maria come along with me? Father, I got your message. What has happened? Darim, turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Above you! Follow me. Where is mother? Dead. She is gone, Darim. I'm sorry. Ahead of us. What? How? Join me. Later. First, we fight. Also, 99. Ally lost. How? He was right behind me. Or was it the assassins on the rooftops? That could be it. They weren't really clearly set there beyond the first one. But then again, that's kind of the point of assassins on rooftops. Where is mother? Ahead of us. She's gone, Darim. I'm sorry. Fight by my side. What? 
How? Later. First, we fight. Brother, we need not fight. Forget reason, Darim. They've been poisoned by lies. <laughs> Goodbye. God, please help me now. So basically, it's Al Mualim all over again. Leader of the assassins, turning the assassins against me. Um, ally? Why you run this way? This is not exit. Watch out! Okay, this is way too restrictive. Game. He was just right behind that tree. Sure, it was the warning one. We cannot let them catch us. What are you doing? A game. I tried to jump. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? Under orders. He your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A madman with an army. He will die. One day he will pay. Yeah, this feels a little wonky, because again... We didn't really... We saved Abbas from the apple. and But then I guess we went to deal with other threats. And he never learned his lesson. I'm killing the guards. Die. I don't even need a sword to kill you. Okay, what the fuck? That is not how that works, game. Even I can't do that. Okay, that was odd. It is time to go. We have killed well over a hundred people. Really, you think? Was it the boss who killed my brother? I will have the apple, Altair, and I will have your head. For all the dishonor he brought upon my Why couldn't family? we turn back and kill him right there? You cannot run forever! Not from us! And not from your lies! We could have just turned back and kill him. We obviously had to have passed by Abbas on our way out of there. We could have just killed him. But yeah, Masyaf just has no luck with assassins, huh? Al Mualim, now Abbas. Through anger and betrayal, Altair lost those closest to him. So yeah, <laughs> Ezio is. On. Learning the life of I Altair. Have not pain so severe. Perhaps because my heart is too hard to risk the joys of real love. I guess this kind of would explain like the animus. Maybe these are like genetic memory encoded discs. And then like Abstargo maybe used various precursor tech to be like, hey, what if we could do this with a person? But yeah, that definitely answers that. Ezio is experiencing the life of Altair. 
Well, let's see, is there a tailor on this side of the world? There's a tailor right there. Let's go see what wares the tailor has. Uh, why? What did I do? Why do you... Why are you angry with me? I do not have anything of evil. You weird me out, men. You are all very odd. I don't see him. I see him. Go. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. We will string you from the nearest pole. Those quick feet will be the. I don't know why they were angry with me. I didn't do anything. I didn't steal from anyone. I don't have a wanted meter. Very odd game. So yeah, just very odd. Let's see what pouches. More poison, more quiver, more knife. And they are all very expensive. I don't even haven't been really using that much. At most, I'll get poison vial for now. Come again. Uh, then let's see. Next, let's find a ba ba ba. Tunnel. We'll head back to the main island. And we will continue the main story. I wonder where Altair's story is going to go, because obviously he has to, like, get control of Masiaf back. And didn't, like, Altair have, like, a decent, like, allyship with, like, uh, Malik and the assassins loyal to Malik? So... Again, I wish that I could just have a cursor that I can drag around the map. That would be nice. I don't understand why it's a list. Is it a limitation of the system itself? Come, I have convinced people to die. That is not impressive, as you may think, fool. Oh, and I think the dins are locked because their master is away. That makes sense. You have neglected your annual checkups. I have whatever you need. It will not happen again. That does make sense. Uh, I guess it's on the roof. Nope, it's right here. Uh, hello, random person. You see this rug? Incredible quality. Why are there so many rug sellers in this place? I am not married. Ah, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rugs just because they were imported. Really? Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... <laughs> Uh, you insult me, sir. <laughs> take less than 200 lakhs for this. My final offer. He talks while they walk by. When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise <laughs> at 180? I do like the kind of quirky you side characters. <laughs> I do enjoy Assassin's Creed characters that are like that. Ezio and Suleiman suspect the Genissary Captain, Tariq Barletti, 
is involved with him bluff. I need to L him. Distract two guards of bombs. I think cherry bombs should work. Oh, no, game. That implies that he's right next to me. And now it's time to tail. And for him to randomly turn around periodically. Sometimes I think there are not enough hours in the day for all that needs doing. Mood, lady. It does feel like there is not enough time in the day to do everything. Just wanted to complete my objective. I certainly prefer the oppression and hunger we knew so recently. These new masters seem to be decent. Did that guy just say something about remasters? Maybe books? Of all Mechmed's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar is the finest. Weird little bow. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way. What? Okay, game. Sure. Put me in a place where I literally can't do anything. That's dumb. Uh, if you're going to do something like that, game, you need to give the player time to react. That's dumb. But fine, I guess we'll be inside the bazaar. For that. That's very dumb. Well, maybe the diddly dee distracting guard thing will come in into play here. So, yeah. As a first time player, I thought, oh, I'll get. Try to be close enough where I can react to what he's gonna do. But then he just like... The, the game didn't let me uh, react. Odd little man. You'd think that just hanging out at a bazaar would be like a normal thing. But he's taking no loitering super seriously. And now he's disrupting all hiding places that are near him, so if he loops back around, I'm screwed. Another Janissary. This is an important meeting. Make sure I'm not being followed. So these are the two guards that I'll need to properly distract. Um, game? Well, then again, I guess it would make sense for people to be like, Oh God, it's the captain of the guard. Uh, scare cord? Why?
So even the Romani, like. I am no longer, like, hidden. There we go. So he only disrupts it if I get close. Take to the rooftops now that I'm here. Don't fall off. That will... Hopefully not bother him. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Your, your guard guy, he just fell. Lost his balance. When he got hit by a crossbow bolt. Nothing to worry about. I hear I think I heard a civilian say, Oh no, that man You there. I will be back tomorrow. And if you have not disposed of all this foreign made garbage, I will confiscate it myself and throw it into the phosphorus. Lead the way So he has something against like importing things. At least we have it, like, straight from his mouth. He is not a fan of imports. Um... Did not expect sudden. Hello, game. I want to go up. Game. You see nothing. What is if all the guards deciding to cartwheel off the rooftops that I kill them on? Hello there, Pablo. We are currently stalking the head of the guard. I'm not part of it. Because apparently, he could very well be part of a conspiracy to kill the Sultan. And that would be bad. Luckily, he looks behind him, but he doesn't look up. Hmm, I wonder, will this work? <laughs> Who needs to actually follow him when I can just hang from a ledge and be like, Is he still there? Yes, he is. I am a super spy. He knows nothing. He may think that he knows something, but he is an idiot. What news? And now I'm on a, bl a light. One agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. An eager weasel, eh? I'm good at exterminating them. But, since we have all our assassins with us... We'll quickly head back, send them out on more missions. And then we'll continue with the main story, because I'm fairly certain I've done m pretty much most of the side quests that, like, exist in this game. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be anything there, and it's at full power. No city one, and it seems decent. No city. That city quest is in the middle. Aha! Another one. Requires three masters for Damascus. Sure. Genoa is going. Jerusalem has a new one. Lisbon. No city. This one does, but it requires <coughs> more. Requires more. 
powerful assassins than those that I have currently. So there are two that cannot be done because my assassins are weak little babies that cannot level up. But might as well use them. Secure trade routes. Get us more money from the city. And... Ah, that's why. Maybe this area will open up now and we'll be able to get the final diddly dee goddamn taunting synchronization point. It stands there, taunting me, saying, ha 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 ha, no. But now, we shall run our way to that place, just outside the mercenary headquarters. Away we go, away we go. I do find it kind of interesting how a lot of the tailing of that mission took it like took place within the bazaar, giving it a unique feel compared to most other ones, other tailing missions. Always nice to have a bit of flavor in your video game. Or else it's just the same thing over and over and over again, like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I also liked the bonus objective, too, because it was, like, actually a part of the mission. That's interesting armor there. Understood. You are a shrewd man. Trust without cynicism is hollow. That's an interesting saying. It's all here. So, what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied, the cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Where are you no going? Problem. What Where are you come? planning? I will have a map drawn up for you within the week. Interesting. Are we here for the same reason? One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Yep. Weapons. I would like to see them for myself. I would like all the weapons Short for myself. Killing everyone. I'm not sure how you will get inside. You have been warned twice. No merchants near the arsenal wall. Take this away. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here. You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Hold your tongue, parasite. With a backhand. Even in times of peace, he got smacked. The poor are always under siege. If we inspire them to vent their anger, perhaps that will help our cause. We must start a riot. The arsenal gates. Tariq has sent a man named Manuel into the arsenal and set a riot to distract the guards and gain access. Make sure forty or more rioters survive. Ah, that spells a bleak end to our riot. Feigning solidarity to push your own agenda. Put agenda. <laughs> Feigning solidarity to push your agenda. It is not pretty, I know. But it will work. That's honestly hilarious. He did he kind of calls us out there. He has money. Insight. <laughs> Insight anger. Men and women of the city. Hear me now. You have broken no laws. And thus deserve no one. Fight back. Wow. That's sudden. That gate will not 
not stay closed for long. One way or another. Return it and keep them safe from harm. Oh. Dang it. Kill them all. Funny that not more of the people are like attacking considering they're just killing the rioters. There we go. <laughs> and they come with more pitchforks. Oh, now they're starting to fight back. You should use, like, the gun. We will not stand for this! But uh, then again, it's also very angry, angering that the game is automatically locking on to the guards, forcing me, like, it's very difficult to, like, control the goddamn flow of things here. And also it's doing the goddamn thing again where it's like, oh, sorry, no countering for you. I think that the civilians die a little too quickly. Just a little too quickly. Make them survive like one or two more hits. The riot has destroyed the arsenal gates. Discover the purpose of Manuel's visit. Perform an air assassination from a zipline. So obviously that's going to happen at some point. Where is a zip line where I can easily do that from? Ow. Oh, now all you guys are doing it well. Ah, there's one. But it's up here. To... Of course that there's a zip line, but I can't actually access it. Just yet. All right, teleportation. Im impressive that the fires have gotten this far. Ah, there's his trail. Utter chaos in the arsenal. Um, game. Game. I'm trying to kill a man game. I have like civilians as my bodyguards. It doesn't really matter too much. If I get found out.
what I should do is like get up here and look for any zip lines I could use. What's a trapson? There is. A zip line. I don't think we're in do not get detected mode, so let's quickly see. Nope, there's nothing about anything like that. Ah, and there's nobody to Ah, there is somebody to kill. Very rude. How dare you use a gun? That's illegal. And I'll just shoot you. How do you have armor better than gun? Good for you, I guess, but Jesus. So these are the late game enemies. I forgot that I can kick. I'm not sure how I feel about them having removed the, like, medicine sound effect. Because normally in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and 2, it, like, played a nice sound effect. Not so much anymore. hell is that saying? There's a thing? What is this thing? What is this? Memoir pages? Collect the ten lost memoir pages to unlock the secret location of Constantinople and find treasure hidden there? What? Enjoy a bum. Oh, that would have killed him. Finally, everything is falling into place. Living like a cipher. What does that even mean? Living like a lie. Do not forget who helped you bring it back. Of course not, my friend. I would not dream of betraying a man of your influence, but you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. Amidst the chaos. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. Merda. Guns. You are finished. Ah, that actually worked. These guys even know how to dodge my... my kicks. Talented little jerks, ain't they? I shall take. I wonder if the memoir pages will just show up around places. Apparently there's a pickpocket. I haven't seen one of them in a long time. So yeah, that's interesting. Memoir pages. Eh, I'm here anyway. Why not I why don't I just head to see if I can do the the diddly dee. Try and catch me, fools. 
Uh, are you sure about that? Jerks. He will not outrun us. Game? I hate when the game does shit like that. I would like to... Why is that just like an impossible no you can't go there? Fuck off game. Design better. I hate when that happens. It should just be a normal oh hey. Easy. Fine, I'll kill these guys and, like, not do how, what you want, because apparently you won't even let me do what you want me to do. Because, you know, that's great design. We want you to do this thing, but we actually don't want you to do this thing easily. Because, you know, that's brilliant design. We want you to do this, but also, if you do the thing that you might just do, it's gonna fuck up and get angry at you. Because, you know, that's brilliant. That's all I wanted to do. And then we'll head back and, I guess, do the zip line. But I don't think the game will like that, maybe. I don't know. See if the game will let me. The game will! Huzzah! They're very angry specifically at me. Can I do this? Nope. I have to be anonymous. Come on, Ezio. You need to work on the speed of your writing. Ah, machines. For a moment it sounded like the memory was collapsing already. <laughs> the plot thickens! Do memory sequences only have like three main missions to their name now? Could have sworn that memory sequences lasted a lot longer in the before days. Because now we're on to memory sequence six out of nine, I do believe. Without side things to keep you distracted, this game is actually pretty well paced. I stand by what I say when I think most open world games should act like Dishonored. Not have an open world, but have open levels. So they're still linear? And you can cram-pack a bunch of interesting things into the levels, but still have it kind of be open. That is, in my opinion, how most open-world games should work. Kind of level-based, but kind of open. Because when it comes to open-world games, a lot of the time they just kind of screw up. Feel odd. We will go to the bank, take out money, do... Send out missions. There's a bookstore? Oh yeah, there is books. We need to buy books. So actually, we'll... Yeah, we'll go send out people and then we'll buy books. Because there are new books, apparently. I'm not sure if they're important, but... One of the main things of the game surrounds books, so we're gonna go buy books, I guess. Hello, friend. Come get me. You know nothing. Good, the body didn't slide off. I need his remnants. Ah, even more money. Perfect time to dis take the deposits out. Perfect timing. Especially since I'm going to go buy ludicrously expensive books. Granted, this is... ...in a time where books are probably actually decently... ...like, actually expensive, but still.
Alright, give me your books. The Secret History of the Mongols. Ah, uh, you know, the people that, uh, I guess you could say, ruined uh, Altair's life. Anabasis Alexandri. Jesus Christ, why are these books so expensive? These books are as expensive as buildings. And not even like small buildings, big historical buildings. Granted, why the city would be selling those to me, I don't know. We already have all max level. Let's see. No Alexandria. No Algiers. 27%, 38%. We should probably... Ah, Jesus Christ. That would be expensive. Alright, we'll... We'll play a dangerous game. Bursa. Nothing in the works. Athens. No, Damascus. Damascus thinks is in. Genoa. There is a new mission. It requires two, because the world is me. Probably I could have probably sent one big guy. I'm a fool. Madrid. Let's see. No. There is a new mission. I think this is the big boy. There was a big boy. Tripoli. I just wondered that there was a big one. So it seems, uh... Marcel. And now we shall see which ones need maintenance. So definitely you. And now I'm down to all of my people being gone again. Such is life. With that, we shall now head and... Uh, go to Sophia. But yeah. Kind of funny how... While we were, like, in the middle of the mission back there, in the arsenal... For whatever reason, the game spawned a pickpocket outside of the arsenal. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Because I haven't seen a pickpocket, I think at all in Revelations. I'm going to go ahead and rob this because it's a money cache. And uh, we need all the money we can frickin' get if we want to buy those expensive books. I am coming, Sophia. Running across the entirety of the land. The fall damage makes no sense in this game. Not what I wanted exactly, but sure. You people are mean. Come on, fight me normally. Ah, uh, even that does an instant kill. Well, fine. What if we uh, disarm him? Nope, he does not like being disarmed. Fine, we'll just shoot him. I think this might be faster. Ever so slightly. Ah. Those guys have bombs on them. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're not dead. They're just sleeping. That makes it good. Here, uh, have some money to speak good. Also, it, it kind of, I don't know, speaks ill to uh, the Istanbul, Constantinople people. 
from that last mission of like, oh yeah, the Istanbul Constantinople people. Uh, they're totally easy to be just thrown into a riot. Super easy for them to just go crazy. Ready to kill. Do you want to be caught up in a riot? Go to Istanbul. Now that we have all of our assassins back. We shall head to Mediterranean defense. Nothing there. No Bursa, no Bursa mission, Athens, no Athens missions, Damascus, no Damascus missions, Genoa, that one's being done, Jerusalem, nothing there, Lisbon, uh, nothing there, Madrid, uh, oh, oh, triple check, ah, there is, Jesus Christ, Martial is being done, Tripoli, Tunis, all of them good. Hey. Expand city markets. Secure local trade routes. I'll come down to these ones because we really need to... Improve, improve the trade relations. I'm gonna send an assassin to do a diplomat's job. This really isn't killing people the ultimate form of diplomacy. I didn't even go and talk to the guy about the, the rugs. So really, I, I lied to that merchant man. Yeah, because the setup was... The captain of the guard is mean to people with imported goods. And then merchants in general. And then I just follow him, learn about a deal. And then I go and like burn things down. And then there's like ten memoir pages. And they probably act like the, the bombs where they only show up in a general vicinity. If at all, there's nine left. I didn't even know that collectible existed. It leads to a treasure. Probably like the Vlad the Impaler dungeon treasure thing, so... Maybe nothing of super value is lost by it, but nah. It's a content that is hard to get to. Huh. I want to see something. Bookman, what kind of treasure maps do you have? What kind of treasure maps? It's just area maps, but I don't know if they, like, are specific. I'll go ahead and buy a few, because why not? Well, let's see. What are the most expensive ones? Overall, none of the- I can just get all of them. I'll just get all of them and get it out of the way. And now the mini-map will look utterly horridious. Probably. But on the offhand chance that it would reveal the memoirs, in fact, maybe it does and it just is blending in. But it probably wouldn't. I just figured, eh, hey, I might as well give it a try. It doesn't seem to have worked. Darn. Baha bug. Bahamas bug. And I don't know if you can turn off the treasure on the map screen like you could in Brotherhood. Either way, let us talk to Sophia. I have access to the, tin, like, the Topeki. Enjoying the or whatever. Who were these men he condemned to hell? Political opponents. Men who wronged him. Alighieri's quill cuts deeply, no? Yeah. See, it is a subtle way to seek revenge. Have history remember them as bad people. 
Ezio. I plan to make a trip to Andrianopoli in a few weeks to visit a new printing press there. That should be fun. It is a five or six day ride from here. And I will need an escort. Prego. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you are a busy man. Sophia, I would love to accompany you, but my time is running short. That is true for all of us. Well, I can try to solve this last code now, but I need to run an errand before sundown. Can you wait a day? What do you need? I can do it for it you. It's silly, but a bouquet of fresh flowers. White tulips, specifically. I can get you the flowers. No un problema. Are you sure? <laughs> no it problem at nice all. Change of pace. <laughs> Bene. Meet me in the park east of Aya Sofia, and we will trade flowers for information. And then maybe there he'll say, Hopefully uh, I will ha have finished up a bunch of the things that I need to do that my time is running short on. If I have it all squared away in those few weeks, then I will accompany you. That I am going to. That would be an amazing way to end the game. If Ezio goes through everything and just annihilates all his foes, he gets access to the treasure, makes sure that it's squared away and everything. And then he comes back to Constantinople slash Istanbul. And he escorts Sophia to a printing press. Knowing that he has done more than enough for the world. I want that to be the end of the game. Please... Please, please, oh game, let that be the end of the game. Have Ezio have a nice rest from life for once. Do you have white tulips, perhaps? You look like a man with money <laughs> to spend. What do you need, Dostum? Tulips. White, if you have them. Ah, tulips. Uh, uh, forgive me, but I am fresh Do out. Uh, something else, Sorry, perhaps. my friend. But those were specific. Not my call, unfortunately. Those were the ones right. required. Listen, I may know where to get fresh tulips. You wait here, and I will return. One hour. Two at most. I am not waiting an hour. I'm gonna follow him, aren't I? Hilarious, Ezio. Hilarious. Ezio. He stalks a guy to where he gets his flowers to steal the flowers for Sophia. Not only so that he can more quickly get the information he wants, but also because he likes Sophia and doesn't want to keep her waiting. That is... Honestly adorable. I'm going to use my master assassin skills to get a lady flowers. That is honestly hilarious. And again, the ambient music in this game is fantastic. Just utterly lovely. I really should make more bombs. That is not a phrase that you hear every day. G game? You did the thing again. Invisible goddamn walls. I also am disappointed that this guy had unique, like, Igor hunched, walking away animations. But... When we were stalking him, he didn't have it. Oh. 
That's what the tulips are. I thought they would be the big ones that I would have to, like, jump in. <laughs> Will the flower merchant be like, How dare you follow me here and try to fight me? Because there's something about the fact that it plays that animation each time. Or is it, like, illegal to pick these tulips? Like, is there a reason that the, there's a full animation for this three times in a row? Or is it just somebody made that animation and now we're stuck with it? <laughs> They're like, I made this animation for Ezio picking flowers for the Sophia quest line. And they're like, yeah, but we're only going to need him to, like, do it three times. Yeah, but it's a good quest line. <laughs> Honestly, I thought there would be, like... I don't know, like... Some kind of, like, twist. Some kind of action-y thing beyond the following. Because, again, Ezio kind of jinxed it by saying it would be a nice change of pace. Please don't... It's gonna... Is it a picnic? Is this a picnic? What is this? <laughs> a gift. Sit. <laughs> Hilarious. Che belli, grazie. Freshly picked. I wanted to thank you for letting me play a small role in your adventure. A small role is enough for this adventure, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> you are a mystery, Ezio Auditore. Mi dispiace. I do not mean to be. It is fine. È affascinante. Sembra squisito. Why, thank you. Look at those giant, and like, the final code. beer jugs. Ah, the code, see. I solved it many hours ago. You will get it soon enough. I think this might be the first, like, healthy relationship Ezio has had. Because sure, there was his first girlfriend. But at least it wasn't shown to be all that healthy in the f <laughs> in his first game. Considering they needed locked away, hidden missions in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood to flesh out that relationship. If, if your relationship is only expanded upon in a game that takes place years after you are dead. I do not think that that's a healthy relationship. Like, literally, she only appears one time at the beginning of Assassin's Creed 2, and she is, like, not even mentioned anywhere else in the game. And then comes Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and, like, even then, they didn't really treat her with respect because all of her missions are repressed and therefore hidden behind the bonus objectives. Meaning that you if you <laughs> want to do them, you need to do at least 75% of the game. Which again, maybe not be a big thing, but the fact that they don't really tell you that. They do tell you, oh hey, do bonus objectives to unlock more mission thingies and cheat codes and stuff. But they don't tell you the percentage required. Which would allow players to pick their battles. And by final book, so far. Once again, these books are more expensive than some diddly d goddamn buildings. Well, let's go ahead and... Oh, no repairs required. Then why is it like that? I can't even really buy them because they auto-equip. Not enough money. Then again, I think the... Sword of... What's his name? Vlad the Impaler. Is a decent sword. Refer me to your friends, eh? 
kind of hilarious that two quests... Well, not really two quests, but... I did, like, two things. The Vlad the Impaler dungeon, and then just hung out with my assassins enough that I got a sword that apparently is, like, the pinnacle of swords in this game, and I got the armor that is, like, the pinnacle of armor in this game. Of which I gotta say, I do enjoy that the super armor of this game was tied to the actual, like, Brotherhood of Assassins this time. Ironic, considering that Brotherhood's super armor was not tied to the Brotherhood. Isn't that hilarious? And plus, actually, that's actually kind of sad, if you come to think about it, that Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was basically just Assassin's Creed 2, but kind of worse. The story was kind of worse. The gameplay had small upgrades to it, but also issues like the lol, what, you do the counter, but they're not gonna die. Just issues and things that just really killed the game to me. And it was basically just Assassin's Creed 2, but more. To the point that it did the same exact thing with the Romulus armor. In Assassin's Creed 2, ooh, you did these, like, dungeon things to unlock the super armor. What if we did the exact same thing again? And it's just, like, not that fun, if you ask me. Well... <laughs> That's one way to do it, I guess. Yeah, because in Assassin's Creed 2, part of the reason why I didn't mind doing the armor missions, the tombs, was because first part... What did that say? It said something about books now being available on the map. What? Uno momente. Before we do that mission, I, I actually want to go see that now, because now that I think about it, that's not a normal book icon. That's not a normal book icon, that is a black border book icon. That implies things. But yeah, as I was saying, the Assassin Tombs in Assassin's Creed 2 were more spaced out along the story. So they were like, ooh, a nice thing to break up the main story that I'm doing. Then, in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the Romulus lairs felt random because not only were they just like, uh, you, you, you were stuck in Rome. The entire time in the game you were stuck in Rome, you weren't going to different places. And the only thing that really cut up the game at all was the arbitrary... Memory walls. Like, ah, you can't go there. Memory wall. Ooh. Which is dumb. I understand it to a degree, but at the same time, kind of dumb. This then came to be a bit of an extra annoyance. Because that also cut up how you could do the Romulus Lairs. And considering that you could only do one Romulus Lair basically near the end of the game... To which you could say, oh, but, uh, Assassin's Creed 2, but here's the thing. Again, Assassin's Creed 2, not only was it, like, uh, before Brotherhood, so it's like all the things that it did new, it, they, well, they were new. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, it's like we've been here before, I know what the reward is going to be, and the reward isn't even tied to anybody I care about. In Assassin's Creed 2, it was the Armor of Altair. I cared about that. It's the Armor of Altair. I played as Altair in the last game, and this is like a tie to that, and that's cool. And there's six of them, and they were like... Like, again, kind of unique. 
and the the fact that they were the first diddly D is what made it kind of special. But when they basically did the exact same thing in Assassin's Creed 2, it's kind of uh, annoying more than anything because it's like, oh, hey, we're doing this again. Why behave like a rabid monkey? Oh boy, it's uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin harder. And it's just like uh, a bad experience. That way. And again, it's just random armor. Who is this Romulus guy? I don't want no cult armor. Why do I want armor owned by a cult? Do you want armor owned by a cult? And it also doesn't help that the the cult of Romulus basically like makes no flippin' sense. Like, who are they? What do they want? What is their deal? I don't care. I don't care about them. So when it's the same exact diddly d thing again, I don't even know how you'd put a book there. You'd think that somebody would have found the book if it was placed there. Aww, how do I get down? Interrogate. What a happy way to put things. It wouldn't let me dive, so I was, uh, for a moment there, quite scared. Quite terrified. We got two assassins, Baxons. <laughs> Wait, telep. Oh, I thought I was gonna say interrogate a Templar again. I would have loved that. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything. Well, uh, well, first I should see. Triple A, nothing. Marcial, it's being done. Madrid, I think, is being done. Yeah, Madrid is being done. Lisbon, nothing. Jerusalem, nothing. Genoa is being done. Damascus, nothing. Athens, nothing. Bursa, nothing. Algiers, nothing. And nothing. That's it. Anything being done. You are having one done. You don't need to be done. I'm looking at the assassin control percentage so it doesn't fall down too low. And we might as well get a back a bit of well, obviously, I'm not going to dedicate that much. Go defend a merchant. And then... I uh, will come down here and install a new assassin den, because maybe that will unlock further quests in that village, town, place thing. Again, somebody would have found the book here. Like, surely somebody would have, and apparently we got an, uh, another another assassin back some. The Book of Kings. Ah, oh, we got two assassins back some. Let's see, any... Go ahead and install another assassin in here again, because it has to serve some purpose. These have to serve some purpose. At first, I thought, ooh, maybe if we install assassin dens here, that, like, puts a full-on, like, uh, a presence here. And that will increase how much, like, uh, hibbledy-piggledy influence of the city we have for longer. The answer is no. You are stuck at 50% control. Because for some reason, the Templars get 100% control, you only get 50. And then now the game's having a seizure. The contextual jumpy jump go place thing is uh, evil and vile and kills people, including children. 
I also love the fact that there are like no guards here now. Guards for days before, again, th it was like a big influx of weapons. But still. Oh, and I just remembered, uh, it just came to me. Back when we were doing the first Sophia mission of the day, when Altair uh, said that Tapeki or whatever was not needed, it was because the Templars had already gotten the key from there. So he didn't need to waste his time retreading an empty tomb that the Templars had already scavenged from. My brain just caught up now. Literary genius up in here. And now we'll go to that tower. Seek out more majesties. Why be even able to do that if I can't do it? I climb you. Into the spiraling vortex of Go Here. Yep, yep, yep. Find the symbols. No, but there is another one. Makes sense that the double one would be it. Yar. <laughs> A Madrid mission is complete. I can't hurt myself when so many other people already hurt me. Isn't that dangerous? My life is dangerous, Bill. My life is nothing but danger. And we got three assassins' vaccines. Nothing new there, nothing new there, nothing new there, nothing new there. Genoa's being done, Jerusalem seems done, Lisbon doesn't have anything. We're looking for named missions, named missions. Of which there does not seem to be any. So let's go ahead and uh, restore the city, business opportunities, improve the city's defenses, well, but only uh, expand the city market. When it comes to like the, oh, you get more, it literally only gives me more influence, but that decays and only goes up to 50%, I will save that for when I could use more influence over the city. Fly, Ezio. Fly into the sky. How do you even hide a book here? Underneath a shingle? Once more, you'd think that somebody would have found it by now, if it's hundreds of years old. All these people being like, I'm going to hide this ancient book. Or maybe it's new to me, this book in a building. Buildings do not last forever. Especially when there's things like wars. And just the human condition. You're gonna tell me you're gonna trust a building with your deep secrets of importance? You don't seem like a very intelligent person if that is your takeaway, my dude. 
surely this building of man-made creation will last forever. You know, in a city that I think has known war for multiple generations now. What next? You gonna hide your super secret important documents in Notre Dame? Because guess what? Not a safe place. For anything flammable. For a moment I thought that tree was going to catch fire. Oh my good sir. I don't suppose you are in need of a little coin. Sure, I'll do this. It's random suddenly here. It's a city event. I think we tried to do this once, but you spawned in an area that I couldn't really do it. Granted, it is just back, forth, back, forth. So I don't know why you could do it yourself. If you had uh, picked one up, we would be uh, halfway done by now. Maybe he's just very lazy, or maybe he has frail bones. He could have frail bones. I wonder what happens if you drop it in the ocean. No, don't do that, he screams. I put down the final box. He tries to kill me. Also, again, these aren't even, like, moving that far. Hell, commandeer a barrel. What is with the scare cord? Why was there a scare cord? My thanks. Here. Good work. Merits good pay. 500. And coal dust. There's something oddly bemusing about frickin' coal dust being used. Was it on the other side of this place the entire time? No. This is... Take me to a tower across the land, apparently. I'm gonna charter a boat. Find a mystery place. I already like the... Uh, the ambiance. The atmosphere. Are we going to have a ghost episode? Like that Nightmare Mansion in the Masquerade. Vampire Masquerade. Obtain the key of Masiaf without falling into the water. A clue left behind by the Polos has brought Ezio to the Maiden's Tower. Investigate the tower, but be careful. So he's lightly skill-based one. Don't fall into the water. And I also don't need to really care all that much if I fail, because you only unlock cheat codes with the synchronization bonus. Well, somebody has to live here, because somebody lit that fire. So yeah, who lives here? You'd th I was gonna say you'd think that assassins would live here to, like, guard the keys for generations to come. Alright? That doesn't seem... like... safe. Yeah, this doesn't seem safe at all. I activate thee. Whatever you are.
Who built all this? That basically goes for all of the assassin stuff. Like, when it comes to the Templars, I guess I can kind of understand it because... We're gonna raise the water, so we can lower the water. Interesting. Freaky, but interesting. Solve the puzzle, it says. See, that's a good point for taking control of the camera. Revealing information naturally. I still hate that it kind of messes up the controls, though. But yeah, again, like, who built all this? Who had the skill to build all this? The resources! Especially because these all had to be built in Altair's lifetime. Uh... Ah. Maybe not all. I think I went the wrong way. At least that's what it feels like. Maybe not. Because, yeah, when it comes to, like, some of the tombs, like, those kind of make some sense. Because they could, like, hijack some of the construction of some buildings. But there is no hijacking anything like this. This isn't, oh, we're going to use some of the resources to put sneaky little... Assassin additions to a building that leads to a hidden room. This is a full frickin Leviathan place with specific like mechanics to hide an ancient key that was made in the lifetime. And again, like Altair was Um Alright. Like Altair? He was like, like 60 at least. Like six, 55 to 60 years old. Before the keys were even made. And you're telling me that Altair lived in the same age that all of this was made? He lived to see this all be made. Well, maybe not. Maybe he made the... Saw the age of the keys and the... Masyaf, like, hidden library. And then he, like, passed the keys on to be like, these must be hidden, and then they were made, but... Still. This feels like utter madness. I both love and hate that the game, like, starts you looking at where you need to go. Because it's both helpful and disorientating. Don't know why you did that, but sure. To the key! And I never touched any water. Reveal thy secrets to me. <laughs> he kicks it! Oh, I'll tire you. 
Ezio, I mean. Again, my brain, for whatever reason, is bad with names. But again, how was this place even made? Quite honestly, which is harder? This or the goddamn pyramids? Because I honestly don't know. Pyramids, big. Difficult to make, especially with, like, they seem simple, but... <laughs> Actually taking looks into the pyramids, it's apparently astonishing, like, how well they're made. And how specifically they were made is, like, just super impressive and scary. That kind of makes it go, was it really just slave labor? It's possible that it was just slave labor. And lots and lots of human misery. But the way that it was done is just so skillful and weird. That people are like, it has to be something else. I don't know. Okay, I, the, the, something weird. <laughs> Some kind of texture graphical glitch there happened. Uh, so, uh, Ezio, how are you gonna get the fuck out of here? I even did it without falling into the water. Hell yeah. Then I think that we shall go and play the Altair memory and we will end the stream there. Because we've done a lot. We got, like, two more Masyaf keys. We did decent story questing. We picked tulips. Well, they're guarding something, but I don't really care what. I don't care what they're hiding. Alright, let's see. That is just another a witch, it seems. Let's just use the people. Oh, I got all my assassins back. And I should probably take a look. Anything. I'll use these guys to install assassin dens where available. Madrid. Any names? Lisbon names? Jerusalem missions? Ha! Huh. I need to install an assassin den in Jerusalem. Nothing in Genoa. No story thing there. Expand our spy network. Eh, why not? Get some more gold coming in. Since we don't really need to do anything unless... 45, 45, 47. Support local artists. It's just... Diddly D will do those last. I don't need to be done. 42... Expand the city port so that more money can come to us. Secure trade routes. Restore the city. And business opportunities. Just get that city. Wait. We lost a city. Or at least there is a city. Then we pass over. Again, why is it a list system and not just go over? Because there is a Templar symbol, but it does not seem that we can access that city for whatever reason. So we don't have to worry about it. Here I thought that we, like, uh, lost something, but we did not. Expand the city market. And 
some secure trade routes. And then we shall take a... Oh, we're already over here. We're already over here. Hmm. I did not expect to already be over here. <laughs> Am I blind? Am I dumb? I didn't expect to just poof magically be on the main assassin island. I'm s Again. I feel like if I let my guard down, the assassin assassins from the Templars are gonna come and uh, be very painful to me. We need to be careful. But we shall go. Do this Altair memory. And then we will have four out of five discs that we can get. And f four out of six in total. Wonder <laughs> Makes you wonder how, like, traumatic that final Altair key will be. Because it's obvious that we're going to get, like, the... One owned by the Templar Byzantines at the end eventually. All right, memory time. Again, we just have the keys on a table. This is not good key protocol, my dude. They were in giant contraptions and stuff for a reason. Well, let's see. Altair's wife has recently died, and he ran away with his son. What has become of Albas? Abbas? Asshole. They say he screams in his sleep, calling out for his father. Abbas, what a miserable man. It is not our place to judge. It certainly is. <laughs> if our master has gone mad, I would like to know. Oh, Altair, you look Shh. old. Good evening. Water. Of course. Sit. Jesus, Altair, you look old and you look like... You look like Ezio. Many thanks. What brings you here, old man? Vengeance. Pity, Abbas. Do not mock him. He has lived as an orphan for most of his life. Shaped by his family's legacy. He is desperate for power, because he is powerless. He is our mentor, and unlike Al-Mu'alim or Al-Tair, he never betrayed Has he? Us. Nonsense. Al-Tair was no traitor. He was driven out, unjustly. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is it? Is it you? I heard the rumors. But I did not believe them. I wonder if I might speak to Abbas myself. It's been a long time. Impossible. Abbas uses rogue Fedayin to keep us from the castle. Fewer than half the fighters here are true assassins. Where so, is Malik? Where do I begin? That's the biggest thing. Malik was my bro. With us. Do not kill anyone except Abbas and his captains. Altair has returned to Masyaf after two decades of self-imposed exile. Gather allies and eliminate Abbas. So his captains and Abbas himself, nobody else. You say these men are cruel. Has anyone raised his blade against an innocent? Alas, yes. Brutality seems to be their sole joy. Then they will die, for they have compromised the order. But those who still live by the creed must be spared. You can trust in us. About the part in his nightmare? No, no. I'll tell you. What about it? People's form. All I have is... They and all the assassins saved the life of a merchant down in the valley. 
They say he fought with a hidden blade. Ah, rumors. I don't believe it. True or not? Oh, let's see. Did it say do not be detected? Or what? No, just don't kill anybody except the targets. Say nothing to our boss. He is sick with paranoia. Clear out. <laughs> Clear out, die. I do. <laughs> it's kind of amusing that Altair is just like <laughs> poor and slow. Did I just see Maria? Or was that like one of the Assassin's Creed 1 assassin uh like informants Mentor welcome Shh. Do not want to get him killed And yet I'm not using it. You pathetic miser. Stand down or die. You first. Follow me to the castle. And spill no blood if you can help it. Just like in the original raid on... Masiaf. In which the... Assassins were mind controlled by their master. Wonder where his son is. At least like the... Like the, uh... <laughs> the compressed audio quality of some of the secondary sound effects... Is kind of the same. Two decades have passed since we last saw you within these walls. I have come to ensure that the corruption of the assassins ends. Now more than ever. Oh, so <laughs> you have repented. I find it funny that the kill nobody but the captains and Abbas is kind of like an, a formality at this point. Kill him! Kill him now! What are you waiting for? You fools! He has bewitched you! He just walks Our away. Has returned. My respect, man. I fight for you. For the order. <laughs> Wait, he came at me and like tries to kill me. I disarm him and he's like, oh, mentor. Is it because Yeah, why why are they doing that? Together for victory, mentor. <laughs> Die, he's they say. Die traitor as they come at me. Then I disarm them and like, oh mentor. Welcome back, mentor. I think there might have been a bit of a oddity in the programming there. No, I am defending Masha. Would you not do the same? You corrupted everything we stand for and lost everything we gained. All of it sacrificed on the altar of your own spite. And you! You have wasted your life staring into that apple, dreaming of He your sounds own so glory. far away. That is true of us. I learned many things from the apple. Of life and death. Of the past and the future. Let me show you. 
<laughs> use the use the gun. <laughs> I like that they actually implemented that. Is this gonna be the last Altair? I can never forgive Confession. Altair. The lies you told about my family, my father, the humiliation I suffered. They were not lies, Abbas. I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears, begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. I will never forget that image. No. But he was not a coward of us. He reclaimed his honor. I hope there is another life after this one. Then I will see him and know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time, we will find you. And then there will be no doubts. Very interesting. If only we knew, like, you more, and there was, like, an actual game dedicated to that storyline. Like, I feel like that would have been pretty cool. If there was a game dedicated to Altair after Assassin's Creed 1. If there was, like, a full game that was these memories, but, like, we get to learn more about Altair before, like, we see the... Because, like, maybe there was, maybe there was, like, a side game or books or something that went into Abbas's father's betrayal and dying at 10-year-old Altair's man, feet. And still he fought to hold our brotherhood together. I would have called him stubborn in my youth, but now I can only admire his courage. The assassins were his life from beginning to end. He had no other. He still kind of spent, he literally spent 50 years letting Abbas run amok with the assassin order though. Like the first 30 years he went and fought the Mongols and was supposedly the master of the Assassin Order from then. But then he came back to find that Abbas had kind of went mad with power, wanted the apple, even though that went so well the first time for Abbas, and killed the youngest son of Altair. I shall kick you to death. I shall jig you. With the power of the jig, I win. But I think that shall be it for now. We did a decent amount of things. We finished off the Master Assassin missions, which means we don't really need to worry about din attacks anymore, even though we only experienced, like, two of them. And then da -da 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 -da, we also have done a bunch of the Masyaf Keys and Sophia missions, and we did a decent few uh, main missions. So yeah, we've done a lot. Next time, we will continue and maybe even finish the game, because there's only one Masyaf Key left, and... Again, I think we're in memory sequence six, of which that means that there's two to three more mission, well, not missions, but memory sequences left. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, then you can watch edited content on my main YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings on YouTube. I'm still trying to uh, finalize some stuff for to make a video for that before the end of the year. That is my goal. Dear God, procrastination brain, I will murder you if you fail me. 
and then if you want to watch old streams of these here streams, duh, you can watch them on the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games. Already there are like the Mass Effect Trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and Brotherhood. And then, if you want to watch me play these games live, I stream to both the Twitch channel, Neon Icy Wings, and the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. And, if you want things from me, like my art in the corner, I am trying to draw more, I just need to actually upload the art. That would be good. Then you can post... you can post me. You can find me posting art to various art sites, that you can find in my link tree, which should be linktr.ee slash neonicywings. It should be found in the description of most. Like, description about pages of most of my things. Mm, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye! Bye.